What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. And today, I want to share a free ASO tool with you that you can use to do app store optimization when you got no money to spend. I know as indie developers, it is hard. We're putting our sweat, our equity into our apps, and sometimes we just don't have enough to actually pay for some of these ASO tools. So in this video, you're going to discover how to do keyword research, find the traffic scores, and find the keywords that have low difficulty without paying for a tool. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, I know you've probably seen me reference this tool before, but it is called AppFollow, appfollow.io. Shout out to the guys from AppFollow. They probably like, Steve, you're covering us so much, we should probably start charging for some of these features. Now, AppFollow is a great tool to do keyword research, but they also allow you to reply to reviews, find these keywords, track your competitors. It is a great tool if you just need a little bit more than just what the other ASO tools are doing, where they're just providing you keyword research. One of the best features is to be able to see the reviews that you're constantly getting and integrate it with Slack or get these emails from them. And you can reply to each review, App Store review that you get within AppFollow. It's a really, really cool tool. I use it to track my keywords for some of the apps I'm really keen on and some of my own apps. Here's the dashboard. Here's what we're gonna do. Now, I'm only gonna show you keywords that my app is ranking well on, okay? Hopefully, I don't get a ton of competitors now because of this, but I wanna share really good information with you guys. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the keywords and ASO, and then we're gonna go to the traffic score tab. And here, you're gonna put in one of your competitors or even your own app. But I would probably suggest one of your competitors that ranks really well for some of the keywords that you wanna go after. Now, I put in my own app here and traffic score within AppFollow is showing us all the keywords that the Apple search ads would actually be suggesting for your particular keyword. I love this tool because we get to see the keywords that this app might be using. And a lot of these keywords that Apple is suggesting are actually keywords that I'm personally using in the keyword field and the subtitle and so forth. So the low competition keywords tend to be around a traffic score of 20 to as high as 50. Some can go a little bit above 50, but anything above that are probably gonna be highly competitive and harder for you to rank. So I would focus on these keywords that you're being shown on the keywords that fall within the 20 to 50 range. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on the keyword. So I'm gonna show you a few examples and how you can tell if a keyword is low competition or high competition. Obviously, you don't have the scores here. All you have is the traffic score, which is a good indication of how many downloads you're likely gonna get. There's no way for us to know exactly how many searches there are. It's just a arbitrary score that Apple assigns each keyword. So the higher the traffic, the better it is, okay? That's all you can think about it. So here's one keyword, Night Owl X. It has 47 traffic. If I click on this, I see that I'm number three. So obviously, if the number of apps that show up for a particular keyword are very low, then there's a high likelihood that this is a low competition keyword. Next, I'm gonna click on rain sounds. Now, I know the competition for rain sounds. And what I know is it's probably medium difficulty in terms of competition. So I know with a few ASO tricks, I can probably rank well for this keyword. Now, without you knowing, because you're not paying for some of these premium tools, well, you can look at some of the apps that rank really well for. What you wanna pay attention to is the number of reviews that the top ranking apps have for their app. Now, you see this app? It only has 13 reviews, and he's ranking number three for rain sounds a very high traffic keyword, which means the difficulty isn't as high as you think it might be. Now, he probably ranks really well for this keyword because he's been around. The app has been around for a long time, but regardless, he's only got 13 reviews. As you can see, this one only has in the hundreds. So if you start to see apps that are ranking really well in the top 10 of the apps that are ranking really well for this keyword, and they tend to have in the hundreds of reviews, it's likely middle competition. 
If they're under 100 or even the 50 or in the 13, then it's probably very low competition. Now, let me show you one other keyword that I know has low competition because I'm ranked number three for it, and it's Midnight, okay? That kind of makes sense because this is a sleep sounds type of app. So I wanted to try to find a keyword that might make sense for this. And Midnight happened to be one of them. As you can see, there are a ton of apps that show up for this particular keyword, right? Midnight, 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 a lot of apps. So hard to tell if this is low competition or not, but I'm gonna really start looking at some of the apps that rank really well for this particular keyword. So Midnight Blue has only 10 reviews and it's above me, so likely because it has the name in the app title. And as you can see, I'm number three, and everything else is pretty low. So I can just click on this. You see number eight only has five reviews, and then number nine has 10. So now you can see, okay, well, Midnight has a score of 20, which is decent, not completely too low, and a lot of the top apps have very little reviews. Besides for the first one, everyone else has little reviews. So I can rank well for that particular keyword. So to summarize, what you want to do is focus on the keywords that have a traffic score of around 20 to 50, and then click through each keyword to see the apps that are ranking for that particular keyword. And the way that you can tell if it has low competition is number of apps that show up. So if it's under 10, definitely low competition. And secondly, of the apps that are in the top 10, how many ratings and reviews do they have? If it's under 100, I found that they tend to be mid to low competition keywords. These are keywords that you can likely go after in your app title, your subtitle, and your keywords fields and rank well for them. If there's barely any apps showing up, then you could put them in the keyword field and feel safe about it. But if there are few apps showing up, maybe you wanna give it a little bit more prominence and put in the app title or the sub. Title. All right, guys, that's it. If you guys want to work with us and hire us to help you with your app marketing, go check out appmasters.com. And lastly, if you want to learn from us and you got a little bit of money to spend, well, check out appmastersacademy.com where we've laid out our entire ASO process so that you can see exactly how we've been able to really grow downloads for our clients using the different growth hacks, including app store optimization. All right, that once again is appmastersacademy.com and I'll see you on the next video. Click the top video if you want to see the ASO process that we use that consistently drives downloads for our clients and click the bottom video if you want to see four dirty little secrets about ASO. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Peace out.